Hi, this is Trevor Conkerton. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video of the week. And the topic for this week is going to be photo play. And of course, if you own the FTCU software, then your photo play is called Photo to Stitches. Either way, the tool looks like this. This is what you're looking for on your workspace. Now, of course, um, I have all the Floriani software installed on my computer, and so right now what you're really looking at is kind of the combination of my FTCU as well as, you know, Sketch a Stitch and Lettering Master, Total Quilter, and um, what I want to say is this tool, depending on what software you own, will either be called Photo to Stitches or Photo Play. And there's one main difference. Let's just go ahead and click on the tool. And so when you click on the tool, I guess the first thing you're meant to do is browse around your computer to find a photograph that you want to play with. And so I've got one of Walter that I selected to play with for today. And so I'll go ahead and, and it's just a JPEG. You know, it's literally a photograph that was from the Floriani website. And I'm going to say open. Now, Fundamentally, the difference between photo play and photo to stitches is that photo to stitches is the is the complete tool that is available only to people that own our FTCU software. So if you own any other software but not FTCU, for example, Sketch a Stitch as a standalone or Total Quilter standalone, or even the new um, free version called Creative Express, those programs come with the tool called photo play and it generally works the same the biggest difference is of course with FTCU you'll be able to save the stitches into an embroidery format and sew it out and if you don't own FTCU you can try the tool and what we create is really cool three-dimensional kind of like embroidery simulated images and it's really fun to email your friends something um, you know your favorite picture of your pet or baby or anything that you really are attached to your I love to do sunsets myself. Anyway, today we're going to do this photograph of Walter. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that right now the size says the width and height in millimeters. And if you're like, I really wish that was in Imperial, no problem. Just stop using the tool, come back onto your workspace, and right click and change your workspace to inches. So as long as you're working in inches, then when you use the tool, the tool will also display sizes in inches. Okay, so this is an important first step to recognize, especially for um, large photographs is really what I'm trying to say here, because it tells me that the photograph I've selected is basically a four by eight photograph. But I want to say some of the photographs that I've selected that came from my iPhone um, have been much bigger. Like some of them were 42 inches tall. And the reason I like to point that out is because, first of all, if you're planning to embroider it, it's much too big for any embroidery hoop. And second of all, for photo play, if you're just making a JPEG, it's not wrong to have a really large image here, but it takes longer for the tool to work because, of course, it's applying the embroidery thread to that area. And so it's probably advisable to keep the size in this area so if you opened up a photograph and it said 42 inches you have the ability to come in here and type in any number you want so instead of doing it at 8.53 I'll say make it exactly 8 and just click apply and so it it will now create an image of a 3d embroidery simulation for an 8 inch wide embroidery so what also in this first step you have the ability to interact with the shape so first of all I can crop this shape in a box by simply grabbing on the handles and like sort of defining the area that we're going to photo stitch. Um, there are a drop down menu for other options in here. So go ahead and put an oval or a heart around your photograph and it will mask off. And so you can see where the photo stitching will happen based upon what's left on the inside of this sort of mask shape like that. And so, yeah. Um, anyways, when you're done with sort of uh, uh, defining the image that you want to photo stitch, then you say apply and then next. And now it's created the embroidery results. And first of all, if you have photo play, then your end game is to say save as and you'll be creating like a JPEG that you can open up and attach to an email or post on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. 
um, if I turn on 3D view, it does give you a little bit more of a realistic view. And to be honest, in this small preview window, they don't look nearly as good as if you actually save them and open them up. But before we do that, let's just review some of the settings in here as well. And so, first of all, which thread chart are you basing it on? And it's going to come up by default on Floriani Polyester, but of course, there's all kinds of thread charts. We're updating our thread chart, by the way, currently on our website. You can download the latest version of the Floriani thread chart with the newest colors. Um, just look on the update page in the Floriani Software Club. Uh, with that said, the next update that comes out will actually um, just pre-install the, the latest update for you. But in my computer, I called it Floriani New 2020. But in your computer, it'll just once you update it, it'll just be called Floriani Poly. And that will draw from, you know, the latest colors that are available in our color selection. You can interact with the number of colors, and if you're only doing photo play, I can't see any reason not to turn it up. I believe the maximum is 60. And so the more colors that you allow the software to see, then the more it's going to be able to kind of like interact. And with, because my photograph was kind of not too big to begin with, I could easily come in here and even make this a little larger. And so watch, if I turn that to 12 inches and click Apply and then say Next, you'll start to notice that I get a little bit more detail in my results. And so as long as it doesn't take too long, there's nothing wrong with coming in, telling it to make it be um, a larger image than even you could embroider, because of course we're only going with photo play. And so when you're making photo play, the end result is an image that you're gonna email to your friends. Um, but by making that bigger, see what I'm talking about, how it starts to give more and more uh, of the photographs dimensions um, so now we're doing it at a 20 inch size based on 32 colors let's go ahead and turn that back up to 60 colors and based on the Floriani polyester thread chart but of course you can choose any thread chart you want you can also change the color palette and so this is 60 shades of Floriani poly based on color but you could do grayscale or sepia or a monotone and so if I go with sepia and click apply, then that is going to um, show us shades in that sort of sepia color palette. Um, so kind of like an old photograph, you know, like that. Anyhow, there is also an option for the type of uh, stitch. And we have two options. There's curvilinear and there's crossover. And you'll notice that in different types of designs, different ones will give you better or not as good results. And so sometimes I like crossover, sometimes I like curvilinear. Um, there's no right or wrong, it's just simply which one looks better to you. The other option um, specifically with curvilinear is the quality setting. And so here I have the ability to adjust between level one, two, and three. And what I'll say is level three is the highest and level one is the least. And I've noticed um, that, you know, one, two, and three. So for example, on a large kind of like eight by 10 um, full embroidered embroidery area, number three gives numbers, you know, around a 90,000 stitch area. Whereas number one gives numbers around a 60,000 stitch area. Um, so that's your ability to kind of interact with, I guess, the density and therefore the number of stitches in your design as well. Uh, you could include a border, so a steel stitch or an applique or none. And at the end of the day, whatever you create, when you say save as, you will be saving it as an image. And so I'll go ahead and I'll put this in the folder with the other Walter images that I've made. And so we'll call this Walter dash FEP sepia and save it now if you also own FTCU then you have the ability to say finish and with when you say finish what happens is those stitches get generated and actually brought into the workspace of the FTCU so I'm just gonna let that go ahead and come up on my screen I want to point out that when you use the photo to stitches to create these um, embroideries, um, regardless of the number of colors that you asked for, when you save it to embroidery, that may get reduced. The software will, um, you know, try and group like colors together. And depending on 
to photograph. Um, and it isn't always an exact number is all I was trying to say. So don't be surprised if you ask for 32 and it gives you 23 or something like that. Um, so here's the, the thing. This is the embroidery stitches. And we could save this and embroider it in any embroidery format that you want. Um, they are simply embroidery stitches and not shapes. So it's not that you couldn't select all of this and resize it, but I just want you to know that this with this design that we made, which by the way, I think it's um, 16 inches wide by 11 inches, 12 inches tall, and there's nearly 200, there's over 200,000 stitches here. So it's quite a large stitch count design. Um, like I said, if you're putting it into your regular embroidery hoops and keeping the stitch, the mm, quality levels lower, then that'll bring those number of stitches down. Um, I'll, I'll show you an example of one that I stitched out. Um, I did stitch out Walter, so let's look at the photograph. So first of all, uh, this was the, when you do it in full color and you email it to your friends, that's what it looks like. Okay, so that was the original photograph. And then with PhotoPlay, you create this cool kind of three-dimensional embroidery image, which you could post on your Facebook. And so I'll go ahead and post that one on my Facebook. Give a shout out to my good friend, Walter. Um, there's the one that we just made in the sepia tone um, ideas. And that's the actual stitch out that I made in an eight by 10. And I cropped it just to do like Walter's face. And um, I never noticed that Walter had a white kind of patch in his mustache. But sure enough, when you look in the original photograph, he did. And so um, anyway, you guys, I found photo play very easy to use. Um, if I just look backwards in my photographs, I've got one that I made as t-shirt for Lorna. That's my wife. And so there's my um, Floriani file. This was the original photograph. And so that is basically a photograph of one of her favorite singers. And what we did was converted it into embroidery and that's actually a close-up of the stitching so that's not a photo play image I think and that's the t-shirt that I stitched it on and so we sewed it onto a t-shirt and um, it turned out really amazing you guys I used perfect stick cutaway we hooped up that perfect stick cutaway and um, anyway Lorna really loves her t-shirt that we made for her and so I found that the number of stitches on a t-shirt was really suitable with one layer of perfect stick cutaway. Um, we got a great embroidery result. Anyway, it's a very fun, new, interactive tool. Probably the one thing I'm going to say is just watch the size when you first click the image. Um, I noticed there was one here. Look at this cool. I'll do this. It's a car. So now your photograph is like some you know object and you don't necessarily want all the white. So you can go in and use a custom mask. And um, we may see some enhancements to this in the future. I'd like to see a zoom tool added. It's just like any drawing line. If I hold down the control key, it'll curve. And if I don't hold down the control key, um, I can draw straight lines. And so with not too many clicks, I can basically mask off the car so that we don't have all of the white background and um, you know it, I would go I could go a little slower and take a little more time but um, I'm talking in the video and so it's a little bit harder to do thinking you know do two things at once I guess anyhow you can see what I'm talking about we've created the cool mask and so again just pay attention to the size make sure that you didn't open up a photograph that's the size of a billboard and say next and the software will quickly create the embroidery and so, um, and now if I say finish, we have an embroidery design of a Corvette and it's ready to embroider. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video a little bit more about the photo play and the photo to stitches tool. And until next time, um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for listening and bye for now.